and welcome back to Wine Night with Wynette. I am Jay Wynette, the best friend that everyone deserves. I have decided to start a little series, mini series inside this series uh, for December and this whole month we're gonna be doing only red wines. I told you all last week that I'll be bringing you all some great red wines and what better way to kick off the holidays than with a red wine. So, Every Wednesday in December, Wine Night with Lynette will be featuring a new red wine for you all and me to try. So I hope you all enjoy. This Wednesday, we will be trying 19 Crimes Cali Red, okay? I've heard a lot of buzz about this, a lot of great things about this. Um, excited about this. Uncle Snoop, I am so excited to try this. Um, of course, first of all, we have to acknowledge the fact that it is 14.1% in alcohol content. Um, we have to also acknowledge that it is very affordable. I think I paid about $12, maybe, roughly around $12. 19 Crimes tells the true story of rule breakers who beat the odds, overcame adversity, and went on to become folk heroes in their society. This spirit lives on today through innovators and culture creators like Cali's own Snoop Dogg. A leader in the contemporary pop culture, Snoop embodies the timeless values of the 19 crimes rogues who came before him. To learn more about this and similar stories, please visit us at 19crimes.com. And guys, I went out there and I did look at some of the stories and autobiographies that they have listed about the different um, rule breakers, as they call them, <laughs> on their website. It's very interesting. I love history. So it was a great, you know, thing to read up on. And it really made me interested to get some of the other bottles of wine and see, you know, what they're talking about as well. But first, you got to stick with the red. Um, yeah, so, and, and on there and on the website, I read, was reading up on the descriptions and it was saying, you know, it has some hints of some dark fruit flavors. It has, um, some Zinfandel in there and, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those very, uh, smooth but bold wines from what I read up on it. And without further ado, guys, you know, I don't like to hold you long. Let's get this bottle open and let's try what Uncle Snoop is talking about, okay? So of course, I already knew it was a, a cork. I don't know why, but <laughs> I just did. But yeah, most cork, most red wines are gonna be cork wines. So I think that's why I just automatically knew it was a cork. So I got my red wine glass here. I got the bottle open. And now, ooh. Y'all, this looks so freaking good. Like, oh wow. The color is so rich. Oh my goodness. Seriously, when I was pouring it out of the bottle, it looked like velvet coming out of the bottle. I kid you not. Mmm. It's giving me those strong, those strong hints <laughs> of wine that I always get when I smell red. I don't know what it is about it, but I, I, it's hard for me to really get distinct smells and flavors from red wine um, when I'm smelling them. I just never can. They all kind of smell the same to me, but they all do not taste the same. So I'm not gonna hold that against them. Okay. Here we are. Buoyancy is really good as well. It's a very, I can already tell it's, it's a thicker wine, which I'm excited about, okay? Upon initial taste, um, it's giving me kind of like, I'm trying to find the right word to describe it, but it's one of those wines that is kind of 
I don't want to say vinegary, but that's the word that comes to, to my mind right now. Um, <laughs> it, it definitely has a smooth texture. It's really smooth, okay? I'm not sure, guys. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the rating, and then I'll, I'll expound on why I gave it that rating. So, right now, um, the way I feel about this wine, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it like an 8. Um, I'm going to give it an 8 because it is ranking high on the smoothness, on the texture, on the um, buoyancy. But really when it comes to the taste, I'm not really getting a lot of distinct flavors. And I like a red that is complex. I like a red that is going to hit you with a few different notes, um, not just red. You know what I mean? It's a very good wine um, for, you know, like a, a simple red drinker. I just simply kind of like a more complex wine. It has a kind of like tangy taste, not tangy as in tangy fruit, tangy in the red wine um, family. So if you kind of drink red wine, maybe you can kind of pick up what I'm putting down about that. It kind of has that sort of like quirky little taste to it. Um, it's smooth nonetheless, it doesn't make you fuck her up. Um, it's just one of those things. I always think that some wines would probably taste better with food. I do think kind of how last week we were saying about the steak or red meat would probably go great with this. Yeah, but I don't eat red meat, so. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, I do think um, a nice steak would go well with this. Uh, I think that's why I'm missing the this wow factor about it because I think that it needs some type of good juicy piece of meat to go along with it. Honestly, I think it'll go pair exceptionally well with a nice meal. But nonetheless, I am gonna stick with my eight. I think it's a pretty good wine. Um, you just have to understand that with red wines, you're not going to get a lot of the fruity flavors. You're not going to get a lot of those, you know, ooh, let me just sip, sip, sip and drink this wine. A red wine is supposed to be savored. So it's definitely one of those wines that you're going to have to savor. You're going to have to take your time with it. You have to find the flavor in which it encompasses. It's not going to be just right there. So to some extent, I guess it is complex, but most red wines are a lot more complex than white wines. However, it is giving me pretty much like level two, level three kind of red wine. But nonetheless, it's, it's really good. If you are someone that's looking to expand their palate, maybe even venture off into some red wines, try some new different things, this whole month will be about red wines. And if you are new to wine drinking, if you are a white wine drinker, if you are a red wine drinker, um, I think it's gonna be a good segment for you guys this month because I'm excited. I have been exploring red wines, so I'm, I'm into red wines now. However, um, I'm excited to start this little series because I want to find me a very good red wine um, and I hope to help you guys find a very good red wine. So, yes, make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you turn that notification bell on so you do not miss a video because I will be making sure that you Find that red wine before the year's over with so we can go into 2021 with a bang, okay? I am Jay Wynette, the best friend that everyone deserves, and I will see you guys next Wednesday.